Census preparations began in 2019, probably like the middle of the summer of 2019. The Complete Count Committee was uh, over 100 organizations, local governments, private entities, nonprofits. It was a, a collaboration between different agencies with a common goal to ensure that our county received equal representation and the uh, funding that it's entitled. Our goals were primarily centered around uh, making sure that we targeted the hard to count uh, communities in our county. It's estimated that 17% of the population in our county um, is in this category of hard to count. And those included children zero to five, uh, homeless individuals, seniors, those with physical disabilities, anyone that's really challenging to find. Latino people live in our county and are oftentimes um, not included in our, our government. It's important to recognize we have a large senior population, so we need to recognize that and make sure that we can ensure that they are safe and secure. We had been working for months on this and we had everything ready to go. Everything you could imagine we had done and the census launched on March 12th and on March 13th classes were cancelled at UCSB and there was a massive exodus of students. Of course the stay at home order, big issue, big issue. First thing we had to do was cancel all of our outreach effort, you know, appointments and that was really sad because you know we had a lot planned through March and April. We really had to shift gears rather quickly and rapidly so going back to doing sort of political campaigns that require phone banking, doing social media. We did um, Facebook lives, we did a census caravan. We employed uh, indigenous language speakers um, who have experience working as farm workers, so they know who to talk to and where to talk to. The car caravans were fun. Sometimes in, when we were with the city of Santa Barbara, we'd be driving along and all of a sudden, just different members of the public, they're in our car caravan too and following us along the way and honking. So it was very fun. Together, we were able to reach all corners of the county with materials, resources, and funding. And originally, the census count had to be finished by July 31st. You can imagine, with all of this, it was moved to October 31st, then to September, then to October again, then to mid-October, and then one day, within 48 hours, they said mid-October, and that's it. Not only being in the middle of the pandemic, but not really knowing when it was going to end, um, was a hard thing for us to adjust. When we started this work, I was hoping that we, if we went three to five percent over the last count, self-response rate, that we were going to do pretty well. Despite that we were in the middle of the pandemic, despite everything that we had heard at the local level, we were able to surpass our, our rate and we, as of October 15, it was 71.8, so almost a four point increase. 71.8% is going to help us again in the pro getting the funding for the programs that we need, make sure that we have representation and um, our voices are heard. You know, we think we really made a difference, you know, because the numbers are going to count. I'm proud of the, the team that we had and um, just overall the visibility that we had and that we made for indigenous people and farm workers. Seeing that happen in your community, that was the thing that I was most proud of. Ustedes cuentan, ustedes tienen una voz y sepan que siempre vamos a estar acá para apoyarlos. The fact that we got 3.3 during a pandemic is like, wow, we did good.